ஹாய் ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் வெல்கம் டு இன்க்ரேடபிள் லேர்னிங் எக்ஸ்பீரியன்ஸ் ஞானா லேர்னிங் ஸோ ஃபார் பிக்னஸ் இன் த ஃபீல்ட் ஆஃப் எலக்ட்ரானிக்ஸ் அண்ட் கம்யூனிகேஷன் இட்ஸ் இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் டு நோ வாட்ஸ் எலக்ட்ரானிக்ஸ் அண்ட் கம்யூனிகேஷன் இஸ் ஆல் அபவுட் திஸ் வீடியோ இஸ் எ ப்ரீஃப் இன்ட்ரோடக்ஷன் இன்ட்ரோடக்ஷன் டு த சப்ஜெக்ட் எலக்ட்ரானிக்ஸ் அண்ட் கம்யூனிகேஷன் ஸோ எலக்ட்ரானிக்ஸ் it is a branch of science that deals with the study of flow and control of electrons the study of electronics is a combination of acquiring knowledge in solid state physics and electronics engineering most of the electronic devices use semiconductor components to perform electron control The study of semiconductor devices and related technology is considered a branch of solid state physics. The design and construction of electronic circuits to solve practical problems come under electronics engineering. Now, the study of electronics can be classified into two that is analog electronics and digital electronic electronics. Actually, analog electronics deals with the analog circuits which operates on continuous valued signals analog circuits are usually complex combinations of op amps resistors capacitors and other fu- other fundamental electronic components coming to digital electronics it deals with digital circuits which operate on discrete signals digital circuits make use of components like logic gates or more complicated digital ics cs so that's a brief introduction to electronics next we move on to communication so communication it is a branch of science which deals with transfer of information from transmitter to receiver through a specified channel so as shown below we have a transmitter and a receiver and information will be transmitted from transmitter to receiver through a specified channel now the electronic communication system can be broadly classified into three that is first one based on direction second one based on nature of nature of signal and third one based on the technique of transmission again there is a classification under the direction of communication that is first one simplex which is mean for unidirectional communication the next one half duplex it is mean for bidirectional communication communication but the signal can only flow in one direction at a time and the next one is full duplex that is both ends of communication can send and receive signal at the same time it is also mean for bidirectional communication next under the nature of signal we have of analog communication and digital communication it is based on the nature of the signal whether it is analog or digital and next is technique of transmission again there are two types that is first one based on transmission and second one based on the modulation and demodulation again under the analog communication and digital communication we have some other classifications that is under analog communication we have continuous wave system based communication and pulse modulation based communication again under the continuous wave system we have have communication based on amplitude modulation frequency modulation and phase modulation and under pulse modulation we have pulse amplitude modulation pulse width modulation and pulse position modulation based communication under digital digital communication we have pulse code modulation delta modulation and adaptive delta modulation so the study of communication will be fulfilled if we acquire knowledge in the following fields that is analog communication digital communication optic optical communication radio communication secure communication satellite communication wireless communication and more so that's a brief introduction to electronics and communication
hope you had a great experience so for watching more videos and hitting your suggestion suggestions please subscribe our channel nyanalady